You are listening and watching to a very special podcast. Here we have more on Marina Lear. Enjoy! Marina managed to carry the food carefully to the table where the memorial site was. Mitsuba looked around as if she was in some sort of foreign place that seemed a bit eerie. Juanita couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> oh, senorita, don't worry. This is all part of tradition. It's nothing bad. I didn't know you guys celebrate this holiday. Ah, oh, yes. I mean, well, it's more like a bit of a t tradition. It could have been safe for Halloween, but we decided to do this in theme because it's the anniversary of her father's death. We decided to hold one for those that have their lost loved ones. Oh, it's the anniversary? It is also the, um, the day that my father was born, too. So we're doing a celebration. Oh, this is kind of new to me. Mitsuba said, placing the tray down. She was about to open it up when all of a sudden, Jenny put her hand over. Oh, you don't need to do that. We don't need to eat now. Are you sure? Men, you just need some time. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm never gonna understand you people. Well, at least this is nice. I bet you really love your dad, Mitsubo said. Marina couldn't help but frown a little bit. Oh, yeah, I miss him. But on the day of the dead ceremony that we have, if we remember those who are gone, they will always be remembered. But if we miss them, then they would be forgotten. But for some reason, even though I remember those words, I miss him. I miss the way he used to play his guitar. Oh, the way he strummed it was just like... It's like hearing music from above. And also his singing voice. Very harmonious and just hearing it. It's so magnificent, Marina said delightfully. Now that sounds very sweet. Everyone turned around to see Gloria, and behind her was her brother. Ah, oh, you came! Sorry we're late. Um, I made this. <laughs> oh, thank you, sweetheart. Ah, hola, senor. Senor Holland, it was? Uh, yes, ma'am, Holland said. He was trying his best to look stoic, but he seemed a bit shy. Oh, loosen up here. You are welcome here any time. Thank you, miss. Now we're just waiting for one more person. That's when they heard footsteps. And here she is now. Guess who have joined the party? Hibiki said with delight. Hello, miss. Holland couldn't believe it. Uh, hello. It was Beauty. She was dressed a bit different. She wore a dress that showed off her shoulders a bit. She looked like she was wearing foundation, and her lips were red. Sorry, I must look like a corpse with this makeup on. Oh no, you look absolutely stunning. <laughs> but you don't need to wear makeup, you look beautiful. Juanita said. Oh, thanks. I'm just 
I had a lot of blisters across my face and I just wanted to, I managed to treat it, but I didn't want anyone to take notice. Oh, I see. That's when Beauty looked over at Holland and asked him, So, I think you were right that you called me Sapphire. I had to know a little information, so I managed to do some research. Oh, uh, did anything came back? Yes, just a little bit. I remember seeing you. I remember my name. It is being called Sapphire. But I don't know. It seems Beauty looked a little depressed. Marina was concerned. Why are you so blue? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying my best to stay in a good mood, but I'm feeling a little down because of what my master said. Oh no, Jenny said. Mitsuba was also concerned. What? What happened? <sighs> he says that what good use of a fallen angel like me would even try to remember such a gentleman such as Holland. Well, maybe he's right. Maybe I am different from all the rest. All of a sudden, Ren remarked darkly, maybe that guy really needs some deflating in his brain. I could do it. <laughs> you? Well, he can control the air. Maybe he can deflate the air out with his magic. <laughs> but I'm quite jealous also. There's another girl out there. Someone easy on the eyes. With her pretty rosy cheeks, beating heart. One needs to scold it at her. Now, now, even though this is a time of memorial, we shouldn't be depressed over things like this. You got so much potential. You've got a wonderful personality. What is this master of yours got that you don't have? Hibiki said, yeah, I bet that guy can't hold a candle to the beauty of your smile. <laughs> Eve said, Not even a pulse? Beauty asked. Man, it's quite overblown. If he would only know that we know that you're very much more special, just like everyone else. Man. Ichia said. Hmm, maybe you do have a point. Yeah, this master of yours, if only that senor would see how we know how much greater you are. But this is a time of celebration. But it seems this celebration is coming to a close, a voice said. Marina felt her heart drop. Mitsupa felt the hair standing at the back of her neck. No, it's him, Mitsuba whispered. They all turned around. A man in a uniform. He looked like some sort of general. But the thing was, he looked pretty young. Strange eyebrows, but a solemn look on his face. Mitsuba pointed. Kareto Haragi! This is the senor? This is the one I've been hearing about? Yeah, that's him. Oh my lord. Gloria was frightened by this. Holland managed to get in front of her in order to keep her safe. Brother, what's going on? Why are they here? How did they find us? Gloria asked. Stay behind me. Everything's gonna be just fine. Gideon, I know you're there. 
show yourself. There was that same creepy guy again. And he said, no, no. <laughs> I d d d didn't mean to give away such information to K K K Kareto H Haragi. You have to understand. He's trying to make a world a b b better place. Kareto raised his sword at Gideon saying, there'll be enough stammering out of you. I don't want you to get involved in this. Marina knew how the situation was going to be. What do you want? She called out. Hand us the girl. He pointed over to Gloria. No, Gloria said. Absolutely not. You are not taking our friends. Give us the girl now. Like hell, Beauty growled. Her eyes began to change and she charged at Haragi. The other soldiers tried to attack, but she managed to get more swift. Juanita called. Marina! Take Gloria up to the tower. Hurry! Oh, man. Come on, Gloria. Wait, where are we going? We have to get away from here. Hurry! They managed to get away. Gideon called out. She's getting away! Warn everyone else that we have a flying mouse to catch. We'll go after her. So they did. Marina and Gloria were much faster, and they head towards the tower. It was pretty dark out, but there were a few headlights on, so they managed to head up to the stairs. Once getting there, they managed to shut all the windows and lock the doors behind them. But they could hear the guards, the soldiers were out there, and they weren't going to take any prisoners. Marina was frantic on what to do now. That's it for now, but don't worry. We have more coming your way. I'm Catherine Donovan. See you next time. Bye.